Throughout the year, Jazz Maui presented the 2023 Maui Music Series. The series featured live concerts, classes, and clinics performed and taught by world-class local and internationally renowned jazz musicians dedicated to their art. Through the support of Hawaii Tourism Authority and Maui Visitors and Convention Bureau, we are pleased to offer this edited stream presentation showcasing the best moments of these wonderful sessions. Aloha and mahalo for tuning in. Yeah. And uh, give it up for this band who's playing a bunch of my original music we met for the first time today. And uh, so, so cool that, uh, that we're doing it.
Thank you so much. <laughs> it's funny, when we played this at the Blue Llama, um, I mentioned that it kind of sounded like a cocktail. And before we knew it, at the end of the night, they came up to us and they had made a special drink. And it's now on the menu there. It's called the Sunset Dreams. And they brought one to each of the band at the end of the set. So I started thinking I should name some more tunes after <laughs> things that sound like drinks. <laughs> We're gonna play a tune that I think you all know. This one, uh, Miles Davis and many ple people have played it, uh, what we consider a standard. If you know the, the album Four and More, it's one of my favorite tracks on that album. There is no greater love.
Is that when he used it? Okay. Right. <laughs> We're going to do another tune. It's an original. It's called the Coltrane Blues. But this one is not, as much as I love John Coltrane, it's not dedicated to him. It's dedicated to this pesky Coltrane that would come through in the middle of this festival that I do every year in Washington. <laughs> So we'll be playing, and uh, you can count on it. it you, ne you never know when it's going to happen, because we're not sitting there with a schedule. But this coal train will come through, and it, when it comes through, it's like guy knows that something's happening. He just honks, like, all the way through it. <laughs> so we were trying to think of a name for this tune, and it's called the Coal Train Blues. And uh, it's going to feature our drummer, Duke, up front. So uh, remember to give us a gig up, gig up, gig up. Watch the drums.
We're going to do a, uh, a tune that was made famous by Duke Ellington's orchestra and has been played a million times since then and recorded over and over again. I probably don't even need to say the name of it, so I'm not going to. We're just going to play it. I had to tell them because otherwise they'd have to read my mind and that might, might be hard. But um, shout it out when you recognize it. I'll tell you that it has the Latin tinge, which was contributed by Juan Tizol on the trombone. That's probably already clue enough for some people to know the song I'm talking about.
Caravan, okay. That tune is always a good tune. It's never not a good tune. Um, we're gonna slow things down and do an another original. This one's actually from my first album. It's uh, titled Charlie Porter, because it was the first album. So, you know, sometimes you do that. Um, and uh, kind of cliche, but it's an anthem for world peace. And it's still as true now as it ever was or will be. And uh, the melody is kind of, there's a beautiful thing that I do sometimes on live concerts. Um, if you sing the melody at the end when we, when, we, uh, when we play it, if you sing it with us, we can get the whole room singing it. It's just a really beautiful sound. You can only do that live uh, in a situation like this. Because otherwise you ask your friends to, hey man, I'm doing this recording, I'm trying to get like this you know, choir together, like, man, really? <laughs> but you get a room, and it's the most special thing ever. So uh, we can even do a practice run of that melody. It's real simple. Here, let's, let's just do that. So this is how the melody goes, all right? I'll sing it with you. I'm not a singer, so. All right, it goes. One. You'll get it, you'll get it. There it goes. One. There's actually some lyrics to it. It goes, what if now were the time to come together? We'll show them the way, something like that. Greta Matassa actually wrote the lyrics for this song. She's a beautiful singer, if you, if you don't know her. She uh, is, is in, uh, speaking of beautiful singers, we got one in store for you after this song. Uh, but I'll tell you more about that later. But uh, we don't need the lyrics, we can just sing the melody. But that's gonna come up a little bit later, and you will have already heard it a few times. So this one is Anthem.
Jeff's gonna keep playing, we're gonna sing it behind him. Can I take you guys back with me? Take you on the road. All right, well, we have a very special guest. Oh, I'm, I'm going to forget the last name. Cheryl Renee. Renee. It's like two first names. It's, it's beautiful. Cheryl Renee. We're going to bring her up. She's going to sing Lester Leaps In. Cheryl, Cheryl Renee. Give it up for Charlie, right? Yes. This is a song called Lester Leaps In, and it was written by Lester Young. Oh, yeah. And the lyrics, the vocalese, was added by a crooner by the name of Eddie Jefferson. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Wow. I'm going to start off with just bass and vocals. I got the blues and I don't know how to lose them. I got the blues. 
blues and I don't know what to do. I think about you, baby, let me take you in my arms and hold you. I feel so happy, I wouldn't know what to do. Well, I love you so much, I can't live without you. I lay down at night and dream all about you, of your beautiful eyes and all of your lovely ways of driving me crazy. I can't eat, sleep, drink, I just can't do nothing. I dream about you a morning, afternoon, and night. Oh, Daddy, won't you see that you will always be mine? I guarantee you everything will work out just fine. Come here and tell me something before I go out of my mind. But say it, please, and baby, pay the love and apply. I'll do the things you always wanted me to. Success is round the corner and it's pointing at you. Don't make a mistake and tell me, baby, we're through. We're made for one another, I belong to you. We will be so happy. You and I together with all of this. hear that sharp 11 she hit at the end? That was hip. Some bringing the New York to, to Hawaii. <laughs> like a boss. Alright, well what, what did we follow that up with? See, I, I knew I should have saved you for last. <laughs> Alright, I think I got something. We're gonna play Contradictions Within. This is one from, uh, from my second album, Immigration Nation. And um, yeah, it's kind of a slow dirge. This album, if, if you haven't heard it, I re highly recommend it. <laughs> 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 uh, you know, I would have brought some, but my luggage was already at the 50 pound mark. We got a two and a half year old baby and you know, a lot of toys you gotta bring with you and stuff. So uh, LPs couldn't really come with us. But 
This one is it's the story of, of the American immigrant, and really not just the American immigrant, just uh, the, the, the struggle of, of an immigrant in general. But we should all know this story if we're calling ourselves Americans, and uh, because it's one of the things that makes America so beautiful and diverse and amazing. And um, so, anyway, I could go in the details, but this one's it's, it's entitled Contradictions Within, and it's, a, it's about the inner struggle and, and contradictions that happen um, when you're leaving something that you know behind that's familiar, and you're, you're setting off for things, uncharted land that's not familiar, and you have to kind of go against these feelings and inner contradictions that are inside of your heart, and uh, because you're giving up something for something new. I was just trying to put myself in that position of being a, an immigrant, which I'm not, um, but my grand, great-grandfather from Lebanon was, and so was my other great-grandfather from, from Italy, so I know they had these uh, experiences. So, uh, and in that album, you'll also hear some little Lebanese tidbits and some other things like that. So anyway, this is Contradictions Within. Hope you like.
Thank you. Yeah, I forgot I have to be trumpet player too. I can't just be a conductor. <laughs> like that's why they hire that guy to wave his arms. Or gal. Amazing female conductors as well. Um, let's see. We don't have a ton of time. In fact, we're over already. I guess we got time for like one more tune. I don't know. Two more tunes, maybe. <laughs> Depends on how you guys are feeling. But like we we didn't take an intermission, did we? I guess we we just did it. Okay, we got. All right, let's try two more tunes. Let's see. Let's try ch uh, tread lightly. Unless you want to do going viral first. Maybe we, we leave that to them. Sometimes I like to have the audience pick the tune. So multiple choice. One of them goes like this. Uh, or the other one is like, it's like got a, how's the bass line? Uh, play that bass line. And then it goes, that, that, that might be the winner, right? Okay. <laughs> I don't know about the soli. All right, we're going to do this song that I wrote during the pandemic, aptly titled Going Viral.
Double double whip. Double double de 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 do. Double double do a bit of a do, double yabba do do. See me bubble do do do. You guys have a tune you want to hear? All blues? I could do that. I mean, anybody second that or got something else? Is that good? All right, let's do that. We're going to close it out with Miles Davis's All Blues. If you don't know that album, Kind of Blue, you should check it out. <laughs> thank you again so much, and uh, thank you for Bryant. For, uh, I don't know if you know how this came together, but uh, yeah, Bryant, thank you so much. Where's he at? Somewhere out there. So my, my lovely wife, Tessa, who's over there with our son, Ellis. Well, it was uh, the two of them that, that made this happen, because she, uh, we, we came out here actually for a different thing, a, kind of a family thing, and, um, and I knew I was going to be here, and she's like, what if I try to get you a gig? And I was like, yeah, sure. Because she's kind of like my manager, too, so... Um, she reached out to Bryant, and he reached out back to her, and before you knew it, like, yeah, we had a band and, and a venue and everything, so thank you, Bryant, and thank you, Tessa. Now, normally, Miles does this with a Harmon mute, and I don't have a Harmon mute with me, so I've got to imagine a really sexy, Miles-sounding Harmon mute.
All right, ladies and gentlemen, how about a round of applause, Mr. Charlie Porto? How about that? Duke Gad. Marcus Johnson. John Zangrando. Jeff Helmer. The Charlie Porter Quintet.